Welcome back. This is part three on step by step how to make this crochet monkey. If you need the link to part one, it is in the description. Um, like I said in part one, I'm using the color yarn Buff and Cafe Latte. Uh, in this video, we're going to begin using Buff. So if you're not using the same colors, that's fine, but use the color that you want to make the mouth and all these other parts with. So we're going to start with the mouth. And to do this, you're going to make a magic circle with six stitches. So one. Two, three, four, five, and six. So go ahead and close up your loop. And put your marker. Okay, for the next row, we're going to do two single crochet in each stitch. So I'm going to move it in a little bit closer here. Okay, so one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven and twelve. So now, after you put the two stitches, two single crochets in each stitch, you will now have twelve stitches around. Okay, for the next row, it's one single crochet in the next stitch, and then two single crochet in the stitch after that. So one single crochet in the first stitch and then two single crochet into the next stitch. One single crochet in the next stitch and then two single crochet into the following stitch. So we're just going to continue this pattern all the way around doing one single crochet in a stitch and then two in the next stitch Okay, take this marker out here and put your final two stitches in. 
Now we'll check real fast. We should have 18 stitches around now. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Go ahead and place your marker back in there. Now for the last row, it's going to be one single crochet in the first stitch and then we're going to crochet two together. So one single crochet and then crochet two together. Uh, if you need a little refresher, you're going to insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and then you're going to go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through. You got three loops, yarn over, pull through all three. And we're just going to continue this all the way down. One single crochet and two together. One single crochet and then two together. One and then we'll crochet these two together. Okay, so now that we're done, this is all that's done with the mouthpiece, we're going to go ahead and go into the next stitch and just do a slip stitch. And then we're going to leave a long yarn tail. Probably about 12 inches just to be safe because you're going to need to use this to not only sew the mouth on but sew the eyes on. Okay, so that was the mouth. So you can go ahead and set that aside. We'll use that again later. Using the same color now, we're going to make the two eyes. Okay, begin them. Do a magic circle with six stitches. So one, two, three, four. Five and six. Go ahead and place your marker and close up your circle here. For the next row, we're going to do two single crochet in each stitch, which you'll have 12 stitches then. Seven, eight, 
And then just go ahead and do a slip stitch into the next stitch. Then we're going to chain two. And we're going to do a half double crochet right into the same stitch we just did a slip stitch. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. And then we're going to do another half double crochet into this next stitch. And then we're going to finish off. Leave about four or five inches. And then just go ahead and set this aside with your mouthpiece. We'll be using that later. And then we're going to make another eye. Since it's so short, I'll just go ahead and make this one with you too. Do a magic circle with six stitches. For second row, we're going to do two single crochet in each stitch, which will give you 12 stitches at the end. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and we have the last two in here. Eleven. Okay, so then again, we're going to go ahead and slip stitch into the next stitch. And then we're going to chain two. Do a half double crochet in the same stitch that you just did the slip stitch. Sometimes it likes to be a pain. Okay. 
and then do another half double crochet in the next stitch. And then leave about four or five inches of yarn. Finish off. And then you can set it aside with your other eye and mouth. Okay, so next we're going to do an arm. So you're going to start out with your second color that you just did your eyes and your mouth with. You're going to do a magic circle with six stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, for the next row, we're going to do two single crochet in each stitch. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven and twelve. Okay, so for the next row, we're going to do one single crochet in the next stitch, and then two single crochet in the stitch after that. So I'm going to do one. And then two. I'm going to do one single crochet and then two in the next. We're just going to repeat this all the way down. So, one single crochet. And then two in the next. And then when you're done, you will have 18 stitches around. So if you want to you can count and make sure you have the correct amount okay so for the next three rows 
we're going to work even. So I'll start each row with you and then I'll have you pause your video. So this is for row four. You're just going to put one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So go ahead and complete this row and I'll meet you back here at the marker. Pause your video. Okay, so I'm at the end of my row four. I'm just going to put this last stitch in here. Okay, so row five is one single crochet in each stitch around. So you should still have 18 stitches. So I'll go ahead and start this with you. Just do one single crochet in each stitch around. And go ahead and pause your video and I'll meet you back here. Okay, so I'm at the end of my row five. I just gotta put this last single crochet in here. Row six is again one single crochet in each stitch around. However, at the end of row six, we'll be changing colors to the cafe latte color or the cut whatever color you use to make the body of your monkey. So, um, as you work, you can see it's starting to turn in. Just go ahead and roll it in that direction. So, I will pause this and I will meet you back here at the marker and we will change color. Okay, so I'm at the end of my row six. I'll put this single crochet in here. And now I just need this one last one. So if you don't know how to change color, I'll go ahead and do this slow so you can see. I also have a video on how to change color in my playlist if you'd like to see that. So we're going to insert into that last stitch, yarn over, pull through like we're going to make that last single crochet. However, this is where you stop with that color. You're going to get your new color, and the tail you want to be on this side. So I normally tuck it in between these fingers. But you still want to have a grip on the old yarn color that you were using and the new one. So go ahead and get a good grip on all these strands. Okay, so this is where we're going to change. You're going to yarn over and pull through the new color to finish out this stitch. Just like that. Now that was a little bit too loose, so I'm going to do that again. That's why it's important to have a good grip on it. So yarn over, pull through, stop. yarn over, pull through the new color. Okay, so you're going to put your marker in that last stitch you just made. Okay, for row seven, we're going to do one single crochet And then we're going to do two stitches together. So again, one single crochet, and then single crochet, two stitches together. Okay, I like to start it a little bit, but we're going to pause, and you're going to take that strand of old yarn and just snip it so you can get that out of your way. And then what I like to do, since nobody's going to see the inside of this, just to make it a little bit more secure, is I like to go ahead and tie this off. This is not something that you could do if you were just making like a blanket or something this arm's going to be inside out so nobody's going to see this knot that I'm making and it makes me feel better like it's more secure so 
All right, so let's go ahead and continue on with row seven. One single crochet, and then crochet two together. One single crochet, and then crochet two together. So go ahead and continue doing that pattern and I will meet you back here at the marker. Okay, I'm at the end of my row seven. I just gotta crochet these last two stitches together. And place my marker. Row eight through 17 is gonna be working one row even. So you have 12 stitches so just one single crochet in each 12 stitches for 10 row. So I will start each row with you so we can keep on the same track. So we're starting row 8. Just go ahead and put one single crochet in each of your 12 stitches around. I'm going to go ahead and pause your video and meet me back here at the marker. Okay, I'm at the end of my row 8. Just gonna put this last single crochet in here. You might have to stuff these yarn tails in here sometimes. They like to pop out. Okay, so then we're gonna start row nine. Again, it's one single crochet and each stitch around. So you can go ahead and pause your video and I will meet you back here at the marker. Okay, I'm at the end of my row nine, putting this last single crochet in here. And we'll go ahead and begin row 10, which is Again, one single crochet in each stitch around. So go ahead and pause your video and complete your row and I'll meet you back here at the marker. Okay, I'm at the end of my row 10. Putting this last single crochet in here. And then we're going to begin row 11, which is again, one single crochet in each stitch. So go ahead and pause your video and work your row 11 and I will meet you back here at the marker. Okay, we've just completed row 11. Just putting this final stitch in here. So row 12 is again one single crochet in each stitch. So go ahead and complete this, making sure you're still only having 12 stitches. You should only have 12 stitches. You're not increasing or decreasing. So go ahead and pause your video and complete your row 12. Okay, just one last stitch in row 12. And now we're on to row 13. Row 13 is one single crochet in each stitch again. So go ahead and complete your row 13 and I will meet you back here at the marker. Okay, end of row 13. Go ahead and put that last single crochet in there. And now we're on to row 14. Four more rows, guys. We're almost there. One single crochet in each stitch. So go ahead and work your row 14, and I'll meet you back at the marker. All right, end of my row 14. One last single crochet in here. And then begin your row 15. Row 15, again, one single crochet in each stitch around. You should still have 12 stitches. So go ahead and pause your video and I'll meet you back here at the marker. Okay, that completes row 15. So now go ahead and start your row 16, which is one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And I will meet you back here at the marker. Pause your video. All right, that ends row 16. Row 17, we made it guys. Row 17 is the last row. So go ahead and work your row 17, which is one single crochet in each stitch around, and I will meet you back here at the marker. Pause your video. 
All right, guys, we made it. I just got to put this last single crochet in this last stitch. And then you're going to go into the next stitch, slip stitch, and finish off. Cut and leave yourself a long tail so that way you can weave it into the body later. So you're going to need two of these. So you can rewind to 15 minutes and 40 seconds and watch this again on how to make this. For now, just set this aside. We'll worry about stuffing it later. So this is the end of part three. I will leave a link in the description for part four. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up um, and subscribe for more crochet videos and cat videos. I sometimes put pictures videos and my kitties on here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you back here for part four.